one of those characters that people will take their time to wrap their head around. Yeah. Is that the B-Bats in seed one? Uh, coming Yo. in from the melee scene? Okay. Yo, and versus Nard over here on the other side of the setup. Um, all right. This is going to be winner's quarterfinals. So uh, we are... We are into the matches where if you win here, you're in top eight. <laughs> oh yeah, we are zooming. All right, yeah, I mean, it's it's like a, what, 30-ish person bracket? Maybe a little less than that? Honestly, pretty good for a weekend. I know that we had, sure. we had a lot of events people could go to, and we're very happy that they're here with us today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this today, October 26th, it's just like everyone wanted to run an event. Not just because Rivals is launching, but like it feels like all across like gaming and music and and just like local stuff it's like everyone's got an event well, it's like because, it's because <laughs> next weekend is halloween true so no one's going to be awake for that everyone's yeah gonna be this partying. isn't this isn't the official halloween weekend <laughs> but it might as well be <laughs> that's right that's right oh okay now we so got we're clarin. gonna have a little more claire and a little more fleet i i'm gonna assume that yeah b bats is probably the fleet here uh b bats coming from melee peach to, to fleet makes yeah. a whole lot of sense he saw that float he's like i'm in that's my character yeah and nard is going to be bringing the claren here so not familiar at all with how uh how nard's play style works here but um we'll, we'll get to see something new. i'll get to see something new yeah. so excited for that oh, nard did a real good job of actually spacing keeping at that mid range mm -hmm. and v-bats though geez with phenomenal pressure off stage i love this float Great game. tech uh tornado off the top no, oh. able to live that. Whenever Fleet just starts like juggling people in the air with those projectiles, I'm just like, this is bullying. This is well, not allowed. Well, the no fun zone is up. Oh man. <laughs> oh my. Woo. That is some execution right there. You got the timing down. Because that's, that's, right. that's all timing. All timing and spacing. It's true, but it takes a lot. And uh, in the midst of me explaining that, we also got to see B Bats steal stock there with the backer. Is that Don't it? tell me that's it. Get out of here. All right. Okay. Ridiculous recoveries all around. For sure. Okay, there we go. We got that tornado there covered like the bottom half. And oh, baby. What do we got here? We got strings. Ooh. Oh, looking for the snipe deep off stage there with a the neutral special. All right, there we go. Oh, try to get that spike. I saw that. I yeah, really wanted it. But nah, you're not going to get you, it. You can go pretty deep, but you can't quite go that deep. Uh, once again, looking for that timing with the back air set up to up strong. At that time, a little bit too much space to cover to be able to get the up strong in there. Right. That'd be best there. Kind of floating, getting that fair. There we go right now. Okay. Forward yeah, was prepared with the DI out there. Was not going to be getting hit with that forward throw, forward strong. Oh! And deep off stage with the back air. B Bat's going to take the lead here. And 84%, this is not bad at all. Oh, yeah. Keep keep up this juggle here. There's only one platform to land on, so. I am noticing, though, that B Bat's only has two arrows out of like six of the quiver. What's up with that? Well. You see that B-Bats is already charged with an arrow, so the next arrow that B-Bats uses is going to be one of those two. But the only way to get it back, and I don't know if B-Bats is probably, yeah, B-Bats was probably looking to, to wait for that arrow to hit until it was just the right time. But when you're at 121, running out of arrows here is not the worst thing. It just means you're out of a tournament. Wow. What a uh, setup from the tornado right. into when you, the up strong. I suppose you can be more scared of Fleet Tornado than you can be of Fleet Up Strong. Yeah, she doesn't miss. <laughs> Even no. when it looks like she does, which, yeah, that absolutely looked like Fleet missed her shot. But does it matter? It, it, it hit with the bow. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? <laughs> That's a wonky hit. Yeah, box. no, she doesn't miss. <laughs> Even if she tries, she won't. <laughs> She's the auto aim character. Mm -hmm. At least on that move. That's, that's got a wide hitbox, yeah. And and yeah, the uh, the close hitbox is the strong hitbox there. You're getting you're getting hit with the string of the you're getting hit with the string of the bow. It's it's slapping your chin and sending you flying. <laughs> Ah, you were talking about this being more like the Smashville equivalents. Yeah, so Jewel, Jewel's Veil is interesting because Jewel's Veil isn't a direct Smashville take. Right. Um, you know how in in 
earlier Smash games, when you go to Smashville, there's this little balloon that floats by. You gotta hit the balloon. And you can Every hit time. the balloon, and it, and it gives you a little extra hit stop, and you can actually use that sometimes. All right. Yeah, that balloon is a very, very tiny platform here that you can stand oh. on. You were gonna get to see that pop up right here. Oh, there it is. Hello, balloon. Just in time. But anyway, right now, it looks like Nard is actually pretty much in the lead right now. Pretty handedly, 49% only. Meanwhile, B-Bats over here, almost at 100 triple digits. The reverse back air! That was pretty cool. <laughs> this right. floating is oppressive offstage. Mm -hmm. But still manages to make it back. And just like that, oh, B-Bats right. is taking the first stock in what an amazing reversal that was. Very strong aerial, yeah. Uh, Fleet can hit you from the front or behind with that back air. And is able to get a lot of power out of it in either direction. Oh. oh, there it goes again. Yep, when you are a fast faller, which almost everyone in this game is, it just kind of happens sometimes, unfortunately. Yeah, Nard Nar has actually started respecting those tornadoes a lot more. I don't think he is. Well, in the end, in the end, this stock is looking incredible from B-Bats. That's wow. probably not it, but hey, 96 unquestioned is is excellent. Yeah, not a bad Oki option right there with the charge uh, arrow. So see right there? Yeah, again, seems a little more afraid of the tornado. Oh, uh, it's, well, over. it's over. I don't even get to explain that. That's but okay, yeah, you know what? Seems, Next time a little, seems a little more afraid of the fleet tornado than the actual fleet. And B-Bat's coming from that sort of like, you know, peach background. You see a lot of like air space control. It's interesting. Like you see B-Bat's kind of be like, I'm going to occupy this space with my float. There's a lot of high float in this game because you can't really do the low float stuff that you see in Ultimate Peach. Mm -hmm. No, I think B-Bat's was, wow, how can I say this? Um, he kind of understood exactly, never mind. I want to rephrase that. The tornado. He knew how to convert off the tornado every single time. We've, yeah. The last fleet that we saw was using tornado to just kind of cover space and kind of stop the mm. momentum pressure that the other opponent was using. This time, that tornado was yeah, his best Yeah, used as a setup behind. Yeah, it goes through. You saw the, the run through up strong to cover on the other side because you had the time to be able to get that setup going. But this is what I was talking about. You see how, see that really clever movement there? Occupies the space above the platform to make it so it's like, no, you're not running off this platform. You're getting back aired. And then lands, wave dashes back in, does that little loop around and is able to find the back air that way too. Man, that didn't even look like a kill. Oh, poor Nard. That's okay. You know, yeah, it's, still I mean, had a fantastic it's, game. it's not to say that Nard didn't have moments because we saw that back air to up strong earlier as well. Like, that is one of the most precise things you can pull off there. But it's like, I don't know, B Bats. Um, well, well, B Bats just has the I'm, fundamental go carrying from one game to another. I'm curious to know how that would have gone if Nard did get that one extra stock that was lost to that fast fall SD. Oh, I have no doubt he would have seen a game three. You think so? I think so. Mm. I, th I think you could have brought that back. Because B Bats did win game one. We, we very well could have seen a game three, but even then, Nard came back to the stage, and B-Bats had almost a near-perfect stock right after that. It's so hard mentally to recover from an SD. That's, okay, that's another good yeah. point. Yeah, the, the mental game just completely like, like shifts. Just it's like, wow, well, now like, I, need to, I need to think of this completely differently now because I'm playing at a deficit that was kind of not intentional. <laughs> yeah, it was an unforced And it's like, now sure. I need to double my gameplay, and it's like, are, are, am I really going to be able to do that? <laughs> Yeah, especially when the last game is so fresh in your mind yeah. of like, hey, you know, that was really and, close. And the last thing you're going to be thinking of is, here's what I want to do in game to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. Instead, you're thinking, am I going to do it? Rather than, this is how I have to accomplish this. Hey, if I it's was a in lot that situation, be in that moment. I'd be like, just don't die, just don't die, just don't die. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and at that point, if you're only thinking about not getting hit, then you're not thinking about hitting. Exactly. And, and that's what we saw there. And eventually you gotta fight back. You can't just run away. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of room to run away when another person can throw arrows at you. Yeah, I mean, Fleet is... Fleet's interesting because Fleet is the closest thing we have right now to a proper, like, zoning character. Mm -hmm. But also, this is also a Peach. You have a float. You have a great back air. You have a great neutral air. You also have a huge up air. We didn't see very... We, see a lot of, we saw a lot of uh, combos using the up air, but, like, that up air is a 
really potent KO move as well. Really? How early does that kill? Probably.